You ready? Yes, I'm ready. You don't sound like you ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, like can ready. I can I say what I'm going to say? Well, hold on. What was you talking about a couple of minutes ago? All right. We, I'm gonna... we, we need to get back into okay. that whole thing. I was talking about spending over $10,000 on your body. Who, who did that? You don't want me to say who did that. Oh, now I'm, I didn't know if you... If you all right. Yeah, I'm gonna because you mentioned it a few minutes ago, but I didn't know yeah, if it was a real person. Yes. Or or I right, or you yes, just they, you see a lot of these, these chicks absolutely. running around. Absolutely. All right. So it doesn't make sense to me to spend over ten thousand dollars on your body, right. right? And then go back to the hood with that body. Shots fired. Yeah. Shot. 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 <laughs> like. Nah, go ahead. For real. Like. It doesn't make sense to me to do that. Okay. If you're gonna spend that type of money on your body, right. you should have a house. Okay. Or a townhouse or it's something. A fact. You should have a job okay. or a business and you should have your shit together. I don't think you should be spending all that money on your body and go back to the hood or live in the projects. That doesn't make sense to me. And I'm seeing that being done so much because you know I know that. Okay. But I'm seeing that being Talk done to and Talk it to doesn't him. make sense. <laughs> woman, <clears throat> woman, if you're not have the money or the house. Don't get your body done. Use that money to leave the hood. How about that? That how you feel about that? What are you thinking? I think half of these chicks are birds, honestly. Okay. It just doesn't make no sense to me, but you know, it's it, people's priorities are screwed up. Yeah. So you're spending. So this is what I was saying to you the other day. Mm-hmm. You go and get your body done mm-hmm. for who? For yourself, if you know that you're, you're you, you know, you stop. Okay. How many of these chicks? For guys too. Is really no. What are you talking about? No, these chi- no stop. These chicks is getting their body done. It ain't for no man because these chicks was already getting men. Cut it out. These chicks are getting men. I mean, these chicks are getting their body done for Instagram and to compete with other women. <laughs> Stop I'm it. sorry. I don't agree with that. Because let me tell you why I don't agree with that. What? There is mothers out there that had babies and their stomach is messed up and it's very difficult to See, bounce we it back. No, we ain't that's talking not nonsense. About them. We ain't talking about that. Yeah, but I have to bring them in because I feel like you're coming fo- at women a kind of way like you, you're not you just, focused. I am focused. We ain't talking about them. That's that's obviously if you got some issue and you say, all right, I want to fix my body. We ain't talking about them. Right. We're talking about the regular everyday chick. There ain't nothing wrong with her, but she going to get her body done. She she's still in the hood. She going to these little no, bum ass clubs. Some, there was she taking right. pictures on Instagram. Right. <laughs> For what? For who? You think you're gonna win this argument? No. Some but um go ahead. Say if they live in the hood and they really unhappy. They like heavy and they look crazy. They well, had like a hundred again, kids. Stop. You're bugging. That's not who we talking about. See, there you go. But when I'm you, talking about women, you, I'm talking about all women you, though, but, babe. All right. So if that's your argument, it, now you're trying to defend them, but you're knocking them for doing that and being in the hood. All right. Whatever. Go ahead. Say what you want to so say. So you you confuse. I don't me. exactly agree. About, uh, you don't agree with what? Well, no, I agree about the part where it says they're in the hood and they're p- spending so much money to get their bodies done. Okay. When they should really try to get their asses out the hood. But okay, I, right. But the thing is, what are they doing it for? That's my thing. And who are they doing it for? So who do you? Wh- what are you saying? That you feel like they're doing it for other women I, and yes, for Instagram? It, it, yes, yes. Because before Instagram. They wasn't doing it like that. Mm-hmm. And they're doing it, and all these chicks are showing off. Well, because they're now there's off. so much competition with ha- other women. Now, you've seen all these women exactly, that were hitting before. Exactly my point. What competition? To look like the next chick? Or to look better because than the next it's not, chick, I would like on. to believe. Because it is not competition for men. So what is men? When, okay, so let me ask you a question. Men if are you, not. The av- hold on. The average everyday man, mm-hmm. they're, they're liking all these pictures on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But they're not running around getting these chicks. They're not marrying these chicks. Mm-hmm. You don't see the regular everyday dude with these chicks. Right. When you walk around the neighborhood or anywhere you're at in public, mm-hmm. what do you see most dudes with? A normal woman. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. So these these women are competing. Yes, they're competing. Mm-hmm. But they're competing for Instagram. They're competing for attention. They're not competing for men. Now, let me show you the difference. Mm. Men typically get themselves. I'm not feeling that you're trying to school me, but I'm hearing what you're trying to say. Go ahead. Continue. Honey. Men typically do things 
as far as getting money, having mm-hmm. flashy cars, mm-hmm. keeping it that, you know, they might hit the gym, all mm-hmm. that stuff for women. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, you don't know nowadays. Nowadays, yeah, they're honestly it. competing with dudes. Dudes yeah. don't lost their damn mind. But at the end of the day, they're doing it to attract women. It's always been the thing. Okay. That's how you typically attract women. Okay. You need to have things or look like you have something. Right. Women didn't need to do that. Right. And it women, was just more about their bodies and their overall whatever. Yeah. But you ha- you're going to surgically enhance yourself. Mm-hmm. For what? For who? It's not for men. They're not competing for men. They're competing, again, like I said, to look like these other chicks online so that now they can post the same bikini pictures and big butt shots. That's why you're saying that they don't care about leaving the hood because they're just doing it for Instagram. No, I'm saying that it's not, it has nothing, for them, it has nothing to do with the hood. They're just lost. They're just lost. Um, I'm sorry. I don't, there's a certain extent that I agree with that. First of all, I feel like you're talking about all women because you said the woman. I, I feel like sometimes men, what they like to do is put all women in the same category. It's not all women. But I, I, for that, I feel like it's the majority. Of women that were competing with that, other women. That is women. getting their body enhanced, yes. You know what's so funny that you say that? Sometimes, you know, when you go out, I'll see a girl look at me from up down. Mm-hmm. With like that look, like that attitude. And I don't do that to women okay. because I guess I'm just secure. I, I'm not sweating no other woman. If they look great, that's right. Okay. That's great. But I get it. We do, women do compete with other women. They want to see what they're wearing. They want to either get the same shoes. That's how, you know, trend carries so on. So they're getting enhancements. Why? Because they don't feel good about their body. I believe that instead of getting enhancement, unless Why? it's like a medical reason. Oh. Hold on. Let me make my point. Okay. Unless it's like a medical reason or something like that, I do believe that you should work out and do what you have to do. You should walk. You should do aerobics. Watch you should what do you something. Put down your throat. Watch what you eat. You know what I'm saying? I do believe that. Okay. However, there are women that are just willing to go under the knife then do all of that i know someone personally well i knew that went under the knife right because she didn't feel like working out right so now it's just like you're still eating the same you spend all that money for you end what up looking crazy and you end again. up looking crazier again because up here down there it's all big but your waist is small right. that doesn't make sense to me that's unrealistic to me so that looks fake. So hold on, I want I want to dive into what you said. You said mm-hmm. they may not feel good about themselves, right? Oh, they're not feeling good about themselves, right? Because they're online and they're seeing other women look a certain way, right? And they, now they feel like they have to look that way. I think it's insecurity in them. Yes, because I can't look at another woman and say I. I, I compare myself to them like that and say that I don't know. I just I'm not sensitive in that area like that. So I do believe social media has made a lot of women insane, yes. willing to make themselves ill by getting these butt shots and then I'm um, going on social media. And then after a couple of weeks, their butt looks crazy. So I, I, I want to stay on this point. Oh, though. my God. Why? Okay, 10, 10, maybe 15, definitely 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. The average woman was not running around. No, especially stressing. black woman. Hell no. We had asses already. We had behinds. Right. So mm-hmm. nobody was running around stressing about, oh, I got to improve my appearance surgically. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I don't no. feel good about myself no. and this and that. No, you're so right. It's, 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 these women are competing with other women right. like, for Instagram likes. This okay. is my thing, too. They're not even doing it to make money. Someone who's a stripper, someone who's a porn star or, or a model, or, or you do something mm-hmm. that you're, you're, you're profiting. Well, they're becoming, they're becoming influencers, some of them. You know, the, the brands reach out to them and give them some money. Of to them. Talk. All right, some of them. Okay. But if you're some not. Some of them don't even know that you can become right, an influencer. They're just doing they're it. Just because, doing it. Uh, they're doing it because they see other people doing it and it's mm-hmm. getting them attention. Mm-hmm. My thing is, why do you want to. And see, this is the crazy thing is. You see these people, most people you can tell right away that that's not their real body. Right, right away. A lot of them, look, their asses look ridiculous. Ridiculous. But besides that. We don't agree on much when it comes to certain stuff, but. But think about it. If all these women are running around getting the same shape, (laughs) it's clear that that, 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 that's not natural. Mm -hmm. And if you, now you're looking like every other woman. Now what separates you. I feel that way. 
everyone I see mm-hmm. on there that's like Instagram, they feel I feel like their bodies all look the same. Only thing that's different to me is their complexion. There's no uniqueness to yeah. them. In fact, I'm not. I'm gonna have to say this to you, ladies. You're not hiding anything from men. My, our son said that. Our son mm-hmm. said the reason he's not going to mess with an Instagram girl or whatever, this and that, is because there's nothing hidden for him. Right. Everyone is seeing every single thing. Right. So they need to get their stuff. They need to get their stuff together when it um, comes to that. Right. All right. So what? 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 That's, that's pretty. This was what? This, this. This. So let me ask you this question: What if you lived in the hood, right? Okay. What if you were in the hood, like the projects, and a girl well, we're that's on the outskirts of the hood. Well, true, but <laughs> so what if you hold on? But what if you pretty much still the hood, right? What if you okay? Hood, hood. Can I? Can, well, I'm just saying, cha. You just said, what if you live in the hood? So, I know, so but not, I'm saying, not only hood. We is gonna the argue about the hood, no, babe. I'm just asking. I'm asking you. No, you are. I'm asking you a question. The hood is just the projects, like what? No, the hood is just the hood, like okay, the hood, hood the projects, whatever. But this chick lived in the projects okay. anyway. So how would you feel if you lived in the? You know, you lived in the actual hood, okay. and this girl that's been around for years looking crazy shows up now with an on-point body, same personality, same hood thing, but their body is fixed. Me personally, I'm probably going to laugh at her. Okay. Why? Because I think it's corny. Okay. And at the same time, it's, it's a big... You hear that, ladies? It's, it's a big thing of, of what you just said that, that stood out to me. Mm-hmm. She got her body done. She might look better, but she's the same person. Mm-hmm. So if you was a nobody, mm-hmm. or if if you just wasn't the best person, I hate that damn word nobody. If you was a nobody, mm-hmm. no, that's important because okay. somebody who might have had a, a average body and mm-hmm. nobody was paying attention to, mm-hmm. now they might go get some surgery done. Mm-hmm. Now they're all over the gram and they act like they're the shit. They act like they've been popping. They act like their their body's natural. And now they're acting like they're someone special. Because I, I'm going to have to say, if they're on Instagram, right, and they didn't have that body before, but now they do, and they're attracting all these different people, right. that's what they're thinking about. They're not just thinking about the people that they grew up with. They're thinking about the other people that's online that they don't even know. Okay, so... So, so all, I schooled you So just all now. of that attention is for mm-hmm. people that they don't know. I think so. Now, now, oh, no, I, I do think it, it's for people that they are around. Now, too. think about this. These chicks are getting the same work done. They're looking the same. They're going on Instagram, and they're taking the same damn pictures. They're taking the same poses. <laughs> what are they supposed to do? They have on different outfits sometimes. Come on. You you can't shut all. You can't it's shut corny. women down like that. It's corny. Na- and I see dudes it's, doing the same thing. It's corny. All right. So let me let me explain something. You can't. If a it's woman corny. is in love with her body, especially if they paid so much money to get it paid done. so much for it. I think it's okay to for go the, online and just show it. No, off. I don't think it's okay for them to show it all. But I'm. I think it's okay for them to come on camera and just you know show themselves. Again, why? Because that's just. Let me ask you a question. I think because let me let me tell you okay. why. I think it's because these rappers. <coughs> remember, think about how um, videos used to be. No, listen. I I, I have to say this because I have to make sure I cover for women still. Okay. Think about how rapping used to be, right? Okay. And in the videos, the women were fu- fully clothed. It was about the hair and the dancing, literally, okay. right? Right. And now on TV, all you see is the booty popping, you see the flat belly, you see the weaves, 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 and the okay. makeup. So now what, that's what it seems to be attracting men. So now the average woman see? is like, damn, do I have to be on TV to um, get this type of man? What? No. Why are you nodding in your head? Because it's, it's a, uh, uh, this always comes up, this what? phrase that I like. What? My phrase. There's What's a that? disconnect from reality. Okay. Now, let me explain that. Okay, please, please. You're referencing video women. Yes. Video models or whatever you want to call them. Yes. Women are seeing that. Yes. And they're thinking that's how they're going to get a man. That's false. But but that's what's being put out there, especially to this young generation. All they know is Instagram. But listen. And social media. The average woman, Mm -hmm. if she's not hugely obese Mm -hmm. or or very ugly, Mm -hmm. In life, mm-hmm. she has men going after her. Mm-hmm. So the average woman mm-hmm. does not have a problem getting a man. Right. Okay. okay. So how do you then look at a video? Mm-hmm. You see a certain type of woman 
you see a certain type of image happening, mm-hmm. and then you relate that to you in your real life. I think it's because a lot of women out there are insecure. What men? They don't love themselves, and they don't. So that's, they're not realistic because they're not on TV. So that's the issue. Okay, so I'm gonna say to my ladies, these women are on television or on or um big influencers. So yes, they're using their body, they're lo- using their look to to show themselves off. Okay. Right? Not even sometimes for the men, but to make it in these videos and stuff like that. I need our our woman needs to be more realistic and understand that they're not on camera every single day. They're not living sure. this, look at you. Look at you. They're not living this this type of life that these other women are living that's exposed to, you know, the world. Right. So I feel like we do have to have reality. I feel like a lot of women has to be real with themselves and say, you're spending all this money okay. on what? So this, this is another thing for me. Women will see, uh, again, they'll see something, an image on TV, online, wherever. Okay. Right? And then they feel like that's what they should be doing. Right. That's how they should look. That's the image that they need to portray. Okay. And that, that in itself doesn't make sense. Okay. Because again, it, baby, you got to understand something. Social understand. media has made a lot of women insecure. Okay, but why? Because okay. they want to be the next woman. They see somebody else with something yes. and they feel like they want it. But the the actual base of that I think they're that, thinking that this is the way it's supposed to be now. But but there's the, something wrong. The woman wrong. with uh, who has a child and has a little pop belly is feeling like, oh my God, I need to jump back into my body and have this surgery because I'm going to be looked at crazy by men or even other women because okay. my body don't look like the ones on television. Okay, but here's, here's where the reality part comes or in. social media. They might feel that, they might say that to themselves, but that same woman that's sitting there with a gut, I guarantee you <laughs> she has no problem getting dudes. No, a lot of, right? Okay. So where where is does it say that there's not it's not like <laughs> when when men start seeing these images this lip gloss is really annoying me when men start seeing these images when everybody's seeing these images mm-hmm. again dudes will talk about it they'll mm-hmm. like pictures they'll watch mm-hmm. TV the videos whatever but you the think case men is. are more realistic to yes because okay. men don't when has men ever said after looking at a video mm-hmm. and take put in input whatever woman you want Mm -hmm. they look at the video and say yo i'm never talking to or messing with another chick unless she looks like that (laughs) and then he shuts everybody down and only goes after that it doesn't happen okay that might happen for guys that have a certain status that can get that okay but the regular everyday guy that's not even a reality so basically they're you're saying that they're looking but they know they're not trying to, they're looking, but they know, you think, basically you're saying that men is more realistic. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Because okay. men are not, men are not shutting every other woman down, the regular everyday woman that doesn't look like some type of video chick. All right. Okay. I agree with that. So I that that's that. what it goes back to what I said before. Mm-hmm. When you're outside in the world, mm-hmm. do, where do you see every guy? Do you see every guy that you see with someone that looks like they stepped out of no. a Okay. Not at all. You the see average them with normal guy, no. Looking normal women. looking girls, they'd be beautiful still. Right. But, but, but they're, they're normal. Women. They're normal. They don't Whatever have Whatever flaws they but have. Plugs and Right. Mm-hmm. They're normal women. Whether okay. they look good or whether the women are ugly. Okay. They're normal um organic <laughs> women. They're not GMO. <laughs> oh. oh so so when, when when women walk outside and they see that, yes. there's nothing that says, Oh no, I'm I'm obsolete now. Yeah. This is what plays in their head, not because of men, but because they see other they see On a woman media. having something, a certain type of look, yeah. a certain type of attention, yeah. and they say that has to be me. I need that. So let me ask you a question from cuz we're the we're the previous generation and this okay. is the new generation. How do you feel about the transition? Like how do you feel about a woman spending all this money on her body? Mhm. How do you feel about a fake body? Because, okay, this is my thing. They disgust me. Okay, so this Personally. is my thing. All right. This is my thing. If you have, um, if you put in all this fake stuff on you, right? So right. a woman who, say if I put fake breast, fake butt, did everything fake completely, 
does that would that completely attract you? Because sometimes I think you're doing everything fake. You're not real. Okay. There's nothing real about you. Not that I'm knocking ladies out there for doing what they have to do. So don't get it twisted and come at me all crazy because I will come back at you. Hello. What I'm trying to say is that is that something that you would be attracted to? Me personally, no. Now that well, obviously, because you know there are a lot of guys who they like that. Okay. Clearly, all fake. All fake. They don't care. That's insane to me. For me personally, it's 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 like how does it feel when you touch a silicone breast? That just how does it? It's hard. Like most of like oh, they're not hard, but oh, how you know? <laughs> but what I'm we saying gonna is we can talk about that. <laughs> now nah, let me stop. But what That's I'm saying the past, is, and this is the present and future. Focus. What I'm, I'm saying just, is, um, that's not you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's say, let, let me say this. If you have to, if you get some work done mm-hmm. and it doesn't seem like you have seem work done, crazy, yeah. then okay. Yes. Or, I can or get if you that. had some issues that you really needed to yes. fix, yes. then okay. Yes. If you got barely no breasts. Right. Then okay. I get that. I get that. But, but when you go from this right. to this. That's not even necessary. It's, that's insane yo, to me. Yo, most men will tell you anything more than a handful, <laughs> yeah. unless you're a serious breast guy, right. anything more than a handful is a waste. Like, what yeah, are you doing with that? like that's insane to me. I, I just don't get it. I feel like it's a lack. I feel like even with the chick, even with people, because it's not only just one chick, even with women that's spending all this money and going back to the projects or going back to the hood, mm. regular, and instead of getting themselves to get, getting themselves together, and they have kids. Yeah. They got mad kids. Instead of getting themselves together, they, what, right. what, you know, they're spending this money on their body when they can walk around their neighborhood or go to the freaking gym. I feel like how are you spending all that money for your body, but you know what? So you can get a man. So you can they get a man. Took that money and got a meal plan and a trainer. Oh, a meal plan. Okay. All right. All right. Because that's about to say you trying to say happy meal. Like right. what's get up a meal with that? Plan. So you eating right. Okay. You get yourself a trainer. All right, you hear that, ladies? Good advice. And you save that month, the rest of the money. Yeah, because it'll be less than ten thousand. You invest that in your kids or your future. Oh, you put it into stocks. Right. Okay. Or into but, your okay. kids. Here's the or thing. send your kids to a better school. Right. A better daycare. A better something. But you're pulling that money to get your whole body done. Live live below you know, below your above your means. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's so backwards. I so, have to, like... Well, hold on. Think about this. All these women mm-hmm. that are getting their body enhanced, mm-hmm. how many do you see them getting married? That should be a trend. Oh, I hook myself up. Mm-hmm. Now I go from a, 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 a six to a ten. Mm-hmm. I'm attracting a man. Now I'm getting married. Mm-hmm. That should be the goal if, um, if you're sure doing I'm sure that something. happens, but if but I've how seen often it... Do you see it? Um, not really. Okay, let me tell you. So, Sometimes so it I doesn't see, work. Okay, but let me ask you something. You know, let me let me take it. They're getting it. smashed, definitely. Right, I get that. No, I haven't exactly but seen that. But I'm sure married. there's women out there that, you know, finally got the guy listen, of her listen, dreams, listen, the six listen, figure, listen, wait, for, six figure man. Listen, for as much as you see these chicks running around the street mm-hmm. and you see them online, mm-hmm. they're single. They're advertising I get, ass. Okay. And they're advertising ass for attention. Right. When you look, when you're on Instagram, right, mm-hmm. and you see the ass or you see a girl that looks good, okay. right, what what do you get into your mind? Do you just do you just simply say, damn, she looks good? Or do you be like, damn, I wish I had a girl like that with the big ass, the big breasts? Like, what's your, what's your train of thought when you see a girl that looks bomb, even though her body is fake? What, what is your thought? And don't worry, you're not going to get in trouble. <laughs> no, but for real, what's no, your thought? No, well, well, first of all, I've never been typically that guy to just be creeping because it doesn't right. it doesn't do a whole lot for me to be staring at pictures. Right, I've always been like that. Yeah, you. Let me tell you guys, he doesn't go to a strip club because he's like, if you ain't going to give me the ass, I ain't going to pay for nothing. If you're just shaking my ass, your ass in my face, that's nothing. You you always right. were big on that. Now I can look at a. a, a I would go, but. <laughs> I can look at a picture and say, okay, she looks good. Yeah. Sometimes I'll stop and, and look at look at her. Look at her like, profile right. and stuff like that. No, nah, I don't be doing that. Well, I'm just saying. No, nah, I'm saying that's just Let's not me. Let's be real. See. I know, but like this is real life. I'm saying on, on average. Okay. Have I done that? Does it happen? Yes. Okay. But is that a normal thing for me? No. 
the fuck? I don't care. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do you know when a girl is fake? Can you tell most when Most of the so- time, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, as far as that, it's not attractive to me. You might catch my attention. Mm-hmm. I'll look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm not overly enticed if I think you're not natural. Okay. That's number one. Do you think... Hold your thought. Mm-hmm. Do you think men do in reality prefer a woman the that's natural? I, I think the average guy don't care. Okay. So I, I, that's why I always separate the average person and then I might be a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of dudes, they don't care. Right. Because, and honestly, not, not to sound crazy, but a lot of dudes, some dudes don't have those options. They didn't have options. Gotcha. Okay. So, if they see something, they're going to go crazy trying to get it. Okay. You can usually tell who had options because some guys are overly thirsty mm-hmm. and the other guys are not. Yeah. Okay. So, but when I, when I, when I see chicks that, it, 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 for me, most of the time, their bodies are not proportioned right. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I can look at somebody with an ass. See, this is the thing. Mm-hmm. You see a woman walk by with an ass. It's mm-hmm. going to catch your attention. Obviously. You're going to of look. Of course. Yeah, of course. There's no way you're going to sit there and say, Shit, oh, I, I didn't see that. I show you ass. I'll be like, babe, look at that. Right. Look at that. But so me personally, mm-hmm. I look mm-hmm. and it, 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 I can tell when it's fake. Yeah. And then it's, or most of the time, it doesn't look it right. D- it's not p- proportion right. It's not right. proportion That's right. That's why I wonder how, when they get, how do... How do they look at themselves and get their butt done a certain type of way and think that it's okay? Who's who's telling them that it looks right? You remember when we was in the gym? Oh, my God. And there was that one Many chick times. that used to be there. Mm-hmm. And I think she was the older one. Oh, yeah. And she clearly had her ass done. Yeah. So when you first look, the overall package looks nice. It's going to catch your attention. Yes. I would always look at her and be like, you don't look right. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. her ass... When you look at it, uh-huh. it was off. Yeah. It yeah. had a weird shape to yeah. it. Yeah, and it cups under. Yeah, it was just mad, like, unreal. Yeah. So it's like. But you know what's so funny? Let me jump into that. Some of these girls' butts be real, because I, I got to bring up my sister. I got to shout out my sister, because my sister has, bam, cup under. She's yeah, never but, gotten but, her yeah, butt but, done. But, so but we, a lot, hold on. Uh-huh. But see, a lot of people has had natural, have obviously natural have natural ass, asses. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But that's normal. Yes. That's okay. You can see the difference. But when you're getting it enhanced. Yeah. And then you can tell it's not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then those same chicks are be in the gym doing squats. Like that's how they got their ass. Yeah, I know. It's like stop it. And this is why they're stupid anyway Mm -hmm. because if if your ass is already enhanced, the Mm -hmm. squats are not doing nothing for Mm -hmm. you. You should be building up your legs. You should be building up the rest of your body. Right, okay. But they don't, they, they're they stupid. They don't know what they're doing. Half the time, they're in there for the attention. Mm-hmm. I think, too, I think I, I see some women that don't have the best features because I'm not willing to call anyone ugly, but certain things, and their body is done, and it's the bomb. And then um, they're, they're, there's obviously some of them are still living in the hood, but there's no additional qualities to them. Like, oh. they don't have any money. They have mad kids. They can't keep a relationship. Mm. They um, they don't even have a car sometimes. Or the car that they have is like 100 years old, but they want to act like, you know, whatever. This is where I see the problem is in the... in. This is where I see that everything is so unrealistic mm-hmm. with women. I think a lot of women are so insecure with themselves that they can't appreciate who they are. And as what? I'm just saying, so this is why women walk around with a whole bunch of bags that they got, you know, they got these expensive bags. But they ain't got don't, nothing in the baby, bag. Don't, baby, baby. They got these baby. fake eyelashes. Well, they I got don't do fake eyelashes. Makeup. See, baby, baby, on, bring it down when it comes to bags. You know hold how on. I am see, with bags. Don't do it. Don't you know how I am with bags? You can't tell a woman about a bag. Why do you, see, that can't even be an argument. That can't even be a discussion. Why Let's do not do ma- the bag why, why, thing. Why you make did they have a nerve? Yes. Why, because so, you know I'm a bag lady. Okay, so And my best friends and all my friends are bag people. Okay, but we're talking about are we talking it's about an investment. Are we it's talking a good about investment. you? Are no. you trying to justify yourself? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Cuz I Okay, love so what I'm saying nice is bags. so what I'm saying is you have these women where there's so much stuff that's fake. Okay. The eyes is fake, the makeup, now they're getting Botox. The Botox is looking crazy. Yeah. The fake hair, all this shit. So yeah. when all that comes off, who are you? That's the scary part. 
that's that that's a topic we need to jump into that's a topic so i'm just gonna be like i'm I'm too excited to jump into that i have to jump into that topic with the makeup and all that stuff so that's something we definitely have to talk about 